So they they were now, you know, everybody, they were just talking about business aspect of the coaching. And my my main reason for going into coaching is that when I retire, because it was my retirement plan, five years retirement plan from 2020, that I'll retire into coaching. So they now told me, since you are passionate about young people, you can still continue with your mentorship, but you need to look for audience. Don't you have people? That was when you now called to me that I have clients in my colleagues because they all come and ask me questions. Please, how do you, this your achievement? How did you achieve? What did you do? So I now say, okay. The group that are coming to me are my colleagues that were frustrated like myself, <laughs> that were, <laughs> they, are, they don't even know what to do. Some want to resign, you know, a lot of people are happy. So I said, okay, let me remain there instead of the young professionals that are unemployed because I didn't want to leave the career niche. I want to remain there. So I said, okay, if I even stay with, for now, if I stay with the young ones, by the time they transition to being employed, they will now become professionals and mid-level. <laughs> Let me just stay in between. Then when I retire, I will now add retirement <laughs> into it so that I will not miss any of those people. So that is just the reason <laughs> for, for, for picking professionals because of my logistics, transport, and supply chain. The, the managers, those that are working in organizations that are looking up to me. So that is why I stay with that niche.